It has begun. They may not be coming after us yet, but they are coming after our jobs. It's not science fiction anymore. Local hotels have started looking to robots to fill some job openings. News Week's John Trainer has more on what this means for the human job market in his special report, The Robot Takeover. John joins us live from over in the newsroom. And John, from what we saw before the break, it looks like you're really getting into this story. Jim, if I learned one thing this week, it is robots are everywhere. And thanks to our friends at Double Robotics, they are in our newsroom as well. And this technology, this industry is blowing up. From now on, I don't think there'll be the slightest trouble with your robot. Your domestic problems are completely solved. In 1940, the world was introduced to Rolo, the definitely not real robot of the future, who aside from terrifying delivery men, could do all sorts of things around the house. This flick had other robots too, from automatic dog feeders to a machine that could switch your lights on for you. And that one actually happened. This little guy will tell my car when it's time to turn my lights on, but that's no robot. Where was the thing that can drive this or pick up groceries and deliver them to me? Those are the robots we were promised. As we found out, they're already here. Some are making advancements. Others, well, we'll get to whatever that is. Dr. Paul O runs UNLV's robotics lab. They're on the cutting edge of robot technology globally. Their pride and joy, meet Yubo, the two-legged robot that can drive a car, open doors, navigate debris, and will pretty much blow your mind. He took eighth place in a national defense competition that included NASA. You've probably heard of them. More on Yubo later, and if you're in the service industry, you're gonna wanna stick around. Because robotics isn't just the future of a small lab at the university quite possibly the future of Las Vegas' economy. From classrooms to startups, the entire state is investing, trying to lure companies in and Three, two, one. trying to teach kids how to build. These middle schoolers are taking summer courses at UNLV, Legos that can navigate a maze by themselves. We got this going. One second. But even these eighth graders take a second away from building to think of something you, you probably have going through your mind right now. There's a lot of kids today suffering of obesity. Uh, we have more technology to make us do stuff to become lazier, like in Wally. Ah, Wally, a future where machines take care of so much, all that's left for us to do is sit around and watch TV. Ooh. Are we close to that? No. But we might not be far either. Don't believe us? Just listen to Dr. O. More and more people are telling us, hey, do you think uh, we could use these type of robots for, let's say, the hotel service industry? Yubo may not have won the DARPA challenge, but it may have won over the biggest industry in Las Vegas. Hotels have come calling. Hey, if a robot can navigate this, it could probably navigate a hotel hallway, right? Taking room service and the job of a human being who relies on that with it. Just carrying food from the kitchen to a guest's room, you know, that's, that's, that's a lot of work. And does that really lead to a knowledge economy? Is that the type of job, a very dull type of job that you want to just give a robot to do? How far in the future are we talking job replacement? Well, in Japan, the future is now. Robot bellhops, robot desk, robot room service. In California, hotels are using robot butlers. But for every success, there is not really sure what to call this. This is called Mary, the mannequin with artificial intelligence who, other than shaking hands, had, let's call it stage fright. No worries. On YouTube, Mary made her debut for Las Vegas' Eden Robotics. My primary objective you might have certain emotions when you hear that voice, but the fact that this exists, built in a small room by a Cuban immigrant, should tell you just how far we've come. Robots are here. They're here to work, and as Dr. O tells us, there are plenty of jobs waiting for them. If you can have a robot that can drive an all-terrain vehicle, so any type of material handling, Again, that you just don't want to throw labor at. Well, these type of robots might be an alternative. All right, so the question now is what hotels might be interested in this technology? And, well, Dr. O wouldn't tell us. You can only imagine a lot of them interested in seeing exactly what robots or things like this could do. The question now is, is that a good idea? Has to think of as a society. Also, we're going to have to think of what education comes with this because I got to tell you, just learning this thing today, right, I could not imagine having the knowledge to build it as an industry in and of itself.